All right, guys, what's going on? So, going to start over a little bit. Uh, if you're just joining, there is a giveaway tonight, and uh, Scott Pilgrim will be played all the way through, though the characters are already leveled up. I have the code in front of me. It is a U.S. code, and thank you again to Ubisoft for providing a copy of this. So, um, how this is going to work is I'm probably going to be playing as Ramona because, well, she's already good to go, and uh, you can play whoever you want. I wasn't able to get in. Okay, that's weird. <clears throat> Try again. <clears throat> okay, that's the wrong control. That's weird. All right. So, you guys are going to see Ramona's ending tonight. Uh, may as well start at, over at the very beginning. And uh, this stream should last about an hour and a half, in theory. So. Awesome. So we should be giving away a um, copy of the game, like halfway through the stream then? or. Yep, that's the plan. And uh, just remember, guys, you need a US account in order to play this game. Um, but it's really easy to make one, so international people can uh, enter as well. And we're just going to give away the code at random. The uh, rules are in the description for the contest. You have to be a subscriber or subscribe to the channel. Like and share the video and tell us your favorite character from Scott Pilgrim. That's it. And then uh, somebody will be picked. It's easier to contact people if they have a Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. Because uh, it's not really safe to share um, information uh, you know, publicly and stuff like that. So... But we've had a lot of success with actually selling, or not selling, sorry. A lot of success of putting uh, game copies, like, during live streams, so that's oh. why we're continuing that. Oh, you're selling people's personal information, Luke? No, no, <laughs> no, no. That'd be bad. Nope, 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 nope. And this is the year that all kinds of crazy stuff is going to be happening, so we don't, we don't want to joke about that. <laughs> Yeah, well, I mean, I I don't know. I didn't. I thought. I don't know. I You're fine. I know I am. Wait, how did I get hit by the bus if I was up there? That's so weird. Oh well. All right, let's go. And uh, oh, we actually don't need to go to the vent video rental store. So I showed you guys before. Uh, at the finale episode, what the video rental store did. Uh, we have enough lives to actually go through this without probably having to come back here, but we'll see. The characters are pretty strong. And I do advise people, once you get this game, to do the uh, cheat glitch, at least to get the money to pay back the video store. That way the game uh, is a little less dicey for you. Because Scott Pilgrim is kind of renowned for its um, challenge factor, I would say. Even on its lowest difficulty. Enemies just don't mess around. Whoops, friendly fire. <clears throat> and just a reminder, there is another stream tonight where I'll be playing uh, the Legend of Zelda finale as I continue to celebrate the 35 years of the franchise. I want the basketball. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boom. <clears throat> Although it's also the same year as uh, Metroid, Kid Icarus, and some other franchises, but I honestly doubt that Nintendo's actually going to celebrate those, since Zelda's their big franchise. And you guys can speculate when you think the uh, Nintendo Direct is going to be. I think that you won't get a Nintendo Direct for Zelda until February, because that's in actuality when the OG game came out in Japan. So I think people saying, oh, there's going to be a Nintendo Direct in January, I don't see that happening. If they're going to actually do a Zelda collection, they'll announce it in February. That makes the most sense. Oh. <clears throat> and nice to see you guys tonight. Uh, thank you for being patient while uh, some stream stuff was taken care of. Also, uh, you guys said there were some buffering issues. Please let us know how the quality of the video is, because we need to know these things. Um, 
as you guys know, there's a lot of problems with our internet, so we're, we've been trying to find ways of uh, dealing with that by streaming through OBS now, which apparently is able to handle a lot more than our XSplit was able to. So if you guys are having issues with the stream, such as pixelation, things like that, uh, I need to know. That way I can try to resolve that. Well, I mean, I don't know. I, you said I was supposed to be on the stream, but I didn't even know that you were starting the stream at 8 o'clock. I forgot. I was literally... I ate. Well, how could you forget me, though? Um, because of some stuff that I was I was spacing out, and also I was eating. I was trying to eat quickly, and I made the thumbnail. Just forgot. Happens all the time where I space out. Oops. Ow. Stupid snowballs. <clears throat> Wow, you got much better at this. Yay! Basketball time. Mm -hmm. No, we're not giving away the code yet, guys. It'll be a little bit. Once we get more into the game. And we're going to show you guys all the levels. Uh, that All seven stages. That's the plan, anyway. And if you want to support the original series, it's on our channel. Oops. There we go. Uh, no, don't need to go in the video store because we already have everything. Shopping district. There we go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ouch. At least oh. tonight I'm thinking I'll be able to beat Zelda, but I can't remember oh, the map. Cool. Oh, well, you're already at the end of it? That's cool. I have... I'm going to be starting the 7th dungeon tonight, except I don't know where the 6th one is. Mm, interesting. Yeah, well, I mean, you can play the game out of order. Wait, what in the world was that? How did Ramona do that? I don't know if do that. I don't play as Ramona very much, though, so... Oops. Wow, so it will be a different, um... Like, ending than Ramona or something? Yeah, all the characters have different endings. Like, Ramona has uh, a Scott Pilgrim-based ending, and so does Knives, but everybody else not so much. If you want to get food and stuff, you can. That's okay, I don't think I need it. Nope, not really. The characters are max level, so... Remember, there's going to be a bus that comes. There it is. Play some b-ball. Boom. Sweet. So, nice to see you guys tonight. We got Yu-Gi-Oh! What up? Alright, we could go in the star door, but I don't think we need anything in there. Like, their stats are already maxed. I'm pretty sure. Oh, I forgot about the cars. I don't need any help. It's fine. I'm fine. That's the whole point of two-player, though. To revive characters and, you know. I'm gonna see how long I can actually have the basketball with me. Might even be able to take it to the boss. It'd be kind of cool. Um, just so you guys know, my uh, chat playback on uh, my computer is down, so I have it on my phone, so I can glance every once in a while. It's right in front of you now. Yeah, I know, but I, I can't look down at it. I can do it in between levels, whereas before I could easily glance when it was on the computer. But the computer, the internet shut down on the computer again. I don't know why it keeps doing that, but... I really don't want technicians to come to the house again for a while. I don't care. It's fine with me.
Okay, there we go. Breaking people's heads with a basketball? No, I'm I'm the one with the basketball. Amber was uh, Amber's playing as Scott, so it's a role reversal. I'm playing as Ramona this time because the first player is the one that has the um, the character endings. So we already saw Scott's ending, so it makes sense to do Ramona's because Ramona was the other character. I'm surprised they didn't show both endings though, because we were both playing. But I guess that's how. Player two is always just player two. It's one of life's huge mysteries. It is. It'll never be solved. Nope. I wish I still had that thing get stand up straight. I'll try it on in between levels. Alright, so this boss isn't going to take very long at all, because he's kind of, uh, well, he's not very strong anymore. Oops. No, jeez, not the weird flying. I'm on his first boyfriend. <clears throat> yep. Mm-hmm. Seriously, he blocked that? That's annoying. Ouch. Man, it's hard to hit these harpy things. There you go. First boss beaten. Pretty easily. What is Mario with big blocks? I have no idea. Uh... Yeah, I, we, we know that, Yu-Gi-Oh. We know it's not the uh, Dr. and Jekyll, Mr. Hyde. You already changed your game. That's fine. No need to worry about it. <clears throat> Alright, first stage done. Yay. Well, wow, wow, they're in love. Yeah, that was really fast. Well, you have to remember, guys, we're, like, super leveled up right now, so, I mean, the game's not going to take very long at all. It shouldn't. I mean, probably beat it in about an hour, so before we get to Chapter 7 is when we'll give away the code. Which, uh, thanks again, Ubisoft, for providing a copy of the code. Ouch. That stupid paparazzi. Boom. There we go. And so the uh, the next guy is a movie star or whatever. Something like that. I don't really know the comic all that well. So. Get in there, Marona. Marona. Alright. Yu-Gi-Oh, just calm down, man. I mean, you can't, you can't prevent people from saying names of other creators and things like that. Yeah, I don't need anything. Oh, that's right, that's just the director. Okay, here come the weird space alien guys now. Aw, oh, dang it. Uh, uh. Oh, why? Whoops. Mm -hmm. Careful, the uh, trash can can hurt you. Like, even if you were the one that sent it flying, if it hits you, it's gonna take away some stuff. Director person is wicked weird. There we go. Ouch! And no, this is not a speed run. Our characters are just really strong. So, I mean, we're just going through the game uh, a little better because the characters are all, they're max level, so. Yeah, it's a lot better than last time I went through it. Oh yeah, well, I mean, we were starting fresh, so like each level took about 20, 30 minutes to complete because like the enemies were a lot stronger. Well, not stronger, we were weaker. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
<clears throat> and I won't be doing my Arnold voice for a while because I hurt my throat. I don't see fast. Arnold in this game though. No, um, people were asking me why I keep clearing my throat. I was doing a bunch of crazy impressions uh, the other night and Arnold scratched up my throat. Wait, where did the key go? Oh. Okay, that could be bad. Boom. Mm, you need a key for that guy. You're wondering what the ending to Ramona is going to be like? Uh, yeah. So there's a different ending to Ramona then? Yeah. Yep, if she's the one who defeats the evil exes, she has a different ending. So, yeah. I mean, it should go based on the, the first player. So, since I'm playing as Ramona, you should see Ramona's ending. Well, I mean, you s told me before that it was very important for me to be on the stream, so... I, I didn't know what time it was until it started playing. Mm-hmm. So if you don't want me to be on the stream, so you can do it on your own, I can certainly go upstairs. I never said I didn't want to. You said it should... Stop. You just said that it should be okay, the first player, but you didn't know, so... Well, I'm, I'm just being honest. I don't know what's going to happen. Well, if you don't think it's going to be okay, then I can just leave. No, I, I like hanging out with you. Oops. So many creepy enemies. Give me back my thing, my tripod. There we go. Whoops. Oh. Oh yeah. Now they're gonna come from behind. Oh. Boom. Well, you're holding a tripod. Or? Yeah, it's a camera tripod thingy. She's using it as a blunt object. You can easily just walk up next to it and pick it up if you want it. Like, they're scattered all over the level. They break after a while, though. That's the problem with them. He just strolls out after his car is completely demolished. Uh. I think it's boss time. Guys, don't purposely try to bait people if they don't want to talk about a certain YouTuber, though. Dang, that was fast. Holy cow. Wow, he did already. I didn't even... That was all you. I don't think I hit him even once, actually. I don't think that was me. Oh, reinstall... Yeah, I'll reinstall Club 51. I think I remember that game that you had us look at that one time. <clears throat> and we'll do an ultimate stream this week on it. Can you play as the blonde haired ninja girl in this game? I don't know. Are you talking about one of the evil exes from the movie? I think the only playable characters are Knives, Kim, uh, that guy over there, Ramona, Scott, um, Wallace, and maybe one other character. I don't think you get to play as the evil exes. You defeat them. Yep, okay, thank you, Yu-Gi-Oh. I get you. Did you like the movie version of this? Um... The movie version of this game? Are you talking about Scott Pilgrim the game itself? I've only seen Scott Pilgrim vs. the World like once and I didn't understand it. So... Mm -hmm. Yeah, that... this is... this is gonna be fast, guys.
Am I gonna play Zelda 2 The Adventure of Link? No, probably not. Uh, I don't think I could do that game live. It's pretty tough. Oh my gosh, you're peating up... I don't even, uh... Mob of people that aren't enemies. I didn't know you could do that. What's up? You love this song, okay. I don't really remember the soundtrack to the Scott Pilgrim game, but it was okay. It's pretty good chip tunes. And those of you just joining, uh, we are giving away a copy of this game, thanks to uh, Ubisoft, so just uh, follow the uh, rules in the chat, or not chat, description. Whoops. Ooh, blue jacket. Okay. Mega Scott is a playable character. To unlock him, you have to beat the game with all characters, not including the DLC. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Mega Scott is the Dark Link character. Gotcha. Thank you. I get that, so if I hit some type of move with the X button that Ramona has. Oh! That's pretty easy to do. Ow. Oops. Do you come out of it? Nope. Yeah, Scott's move is up in X. You want to do a super move. There we go. Nope, hang on, guys. I'll answer in just a sec. I'm kind of surrounded by enemies. What's up? Scott in the movie was cheating on Knives and Ramona. Well, yeah. That's kind of a spoiler, though. It also shows that Scott wasn't really any better than the uh, evil exes he was fighting, so it was... I think that was part of the reason why I thought the movie was kind of meh. I didn't really understand the point of him doing all that stuff if he wasn't really one of the good guys anyway. It just kind of defeated the purpose of the movie for me. Because they're supposed to be the evil exes, but yet Scott is doing something evil. So it just, I don't know, it just felt kind of hypocritical. And I was just like, eh, okay. Ow. <laughs> I tried. Wow, I just got this game today. I hope you like it. Whoops, sorry for spoiling. No, I mean, the movie's ten-something years old. I'm not mad at you for spoiling. I'm just saying sometimes there are people that like, Oh no, spoilers! And they get, like, all, you know, upset about that. Uh... It's okay. I have another life. No big deal. Oosh. Okay, that didn't work. Alright, last time for the bouncer, guys. And then it's the boss, and then the next boss. Oosh. Whoops. Wait, 
They're not supposed to run away. Alright, boss time. <clears throat> Why aren't they jumping up there? Okay, there we go. The comics are better than the movie while the game is better than the comics. Okay. I'll take your word for it because I, I haven't read the comics. I've seen Scott Pilgrim vs. The Animation, which is a prequel, and I've seen the first Scott Pilgrim movie. Or, I mean, the only Scott Pilgrim movie. And that was a long, long time ago. I thought about watching it again, but I just... Eh. I'd much rather watch that um, Soul of the Dragon, like, uh, Batman movie again. That was pretty good. Still need to do a podcast on that. Wicked these. It doesn't matter who you take out. Like, both girls share the same uh, life bar for whatever reason. Oops. Seriously? Okay, they're both toast. Now comes the boss. Mm hmm. Uh. I saw the movie, but did Amber leave? No, she's just playing. She's already played the game. She's just helping out. She's here. How would how would you see a two player if Amber wasn't here? Uh, I'm here. And that would be some pretty smart like two player AI, but no, that's Amber controlling Scott. She's the one doing most of the work in this. Because if it, if Amber had left, then I'd have to restart the game and replay the level solo. Because th they don't have checkpoints. Boom. That's what I think of Guitar Hero. Yeah, of course the game is based more on the movies. She's allowed to be quiet. She can do what she wants. Oh, jeez, oh, not this cool one. Apparently that dude's made out of vegetables or something like that. Seriously, I forgot he does that. That's technically not PG. PG-13. Alright, another one toast. He's vegetarian, which gives him psychic powers. I get you. Wait, how would that work? No checkpoints? That's kind of lame. Well, I mean, there's kind of checkpoints, but not really. Nobody that's a little foul. What? Is Roxy a richer or good guy? I have no idea who that is. Uh... Oh, Simon's because he's a dog. I get it. He's vegan. I get you. Alright, so we're moving right along. Like I said, around chapter 7 is when the code will be issued out to somebody. So now it's time for the Ninja Land. One sec, guys. All right, I'm back. <clears throat> All 
Now, if you remember our uh, original series of this, this level gave us kind of a hard time because we didn't know we needed... Well, I knew we needed to grind, but I forgot how to grind. So I made grinding a lot harder because I totally forgot about the uh, video show or the video store. And pretty much what I did is while editing videos, more or less, uh, I would keep getting really expensive upgrades as opposed to not just saving up the $500 and doing it that way, which actually saves up a lot more time if you were able to complete the video store stuff. Sorry. It's okay. Did you get hurt by the microphone? I don't know how that could possibly happen. Well, I mean, if you slam into it. Ah, oh, nuts. Nope, dog pile. They don't give you any coins for the dog pile whatsoever. Ouch. All right. But uh, no, to answer some of you guys' questions, I don't think I would ever do a stream of Zelda 2. I think that would be bad. I just, there's some games that I don't think would work very well as live streams because there could be rage moments. Uh, Simon's Quest, uh, Ninja Gaiden, any of them. Um, although Ninja Gaiden 3 is not too bad, but I, I still don't think, like not every retro game I've ever covered what I do a live stream of, because there was a lot of yelling and throwing things even back when I first started YouTube. Like, the Ninja Gaiden review, yes, I beat it, which is something um, <laughs> some other YouTubers struggled with back in the day, but there was a lot of yelling and um, rage. And also, the equipment that I used back then wasn't the best to video capture either, so I wasn't very happy with how um, the footage came out, but... I have no intention of playing Ninja Gaiden or any of those older games uh, that were very frustrating ever again because and I don't think it would be a good idea. Um, I already looked at my favorite Zelda game, which was A Link to the Past. Um, I would probably want to do Ocarina of Time as a live stream, but whether or not I do the N64 version or like that one version that was on the GameCube, I don't know. Um, it all depends. I also need to find a, a really good way of, of capturing it. I think um, the N64 game was put on the Wii, Wii U Virtual Console, but I don't remember. Um, I'm just surprised that the Switch has been around now since um, 2017 and still no N64 option. Which is weird. But, oh well. Oh well. They keep teasing that they're going to do it, but... I don't think they're going to. It's just going to be Super Nintendo and NES and Neo Geo games, which is weird, but... Oh. What up, ninjas? I don't remember you guys on the bus. You guys don't come until later in the game. I thought. I thought they came, like, in the Japanese sushi restaurant thing. Swords are fun. Um, Brady Power, the amount of hours I have in it is... Okay. Oh, no, she sliced the bus in half. Yep. I hope they make a Wind Waker themed Switch. I mean, Wind Waker is kind of old. Zelda 2 is literally the hardest Zelda game ever made, even harder than Breath of the Wild's Master Mode. I've beaten Zelda 2, though. Um, I've never, I didn't really like the challenge mode in Breath of the Wild, to be honest. I mean, you just have to find a way of doing cheese with Zelda 2, and you can win. Um, it takes a lot of patience and it's really annoying but you can beat it it's just you have to put the time into it whereas some of the challenge things I just couldn't figure out how to do and it was very frustrating for me not for everybody like you have to remember with me easy things are hard like directions and you know basic instructions and difficult things are cake they're not a problem for me it's it's just how my brain is wired Easy is hard, hard is easy. That's how I roll. It's always been like that. So when people would have horror stories about playing the first Turtles game or Ninja Gaiden, I'd just kind of laugh at them and be like, noob, you couldn't beat that? <laughs> but then when they would talk about like a really easy game that they loved growing up, you know, I'd have disdain for it. Like, I didn't like uh, Super Mario Brothers 2. I hated that game. Um, and I didn't like uh, some of the other stuff that people really, really liked. Hey, stay away from them. Dun, 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 dun. Ouch. Oh, 
Don't, don't keep attacking to the chair, it's gonna keep hitting you. The chair has like a vendetta. I always found it weird that they give you food, but you can't actually eat the food. It's just a cosmetic thing. Or a blunt object you can use to hit people. Oh, shoot! You know what? I didn't... Ow! No, it's fine. You beat that turkey and then I'm gonna steal that turkey. Because I want to hit people with it. Sweet. Sweet! Yes! Oh, what? One hit with the turkey? Come on! That's messed up. I wanted to hit people with that. Oh, I got my sword back. That's fine. Death comes Rokusaki. Wait, what? Oof. You know, just so, being able to pick up people randomly and smack them around. So people said the comic is better than the movie and the game is better than the comic. Yeah. Wow. That's kind of sad. That the game is actually better than the movie. Well, people really like playing the game. Like, the, the game had kind of like a, a niche following, or niche, or whatever. And now, oh. because of the Nintendo Switch, like, the developer who made this game, they're making Buko Bucks, and they're super happy. They're like, we should have re-released this game years ago. It's like, yeah, why wait until the 10-year anniversary? Because this game didn't really do well uh, back in the day, when it came out 10 years ago. It's just... It, it released with a bunch of other games, and it just kind of was there. Yeah. But, this is what it is. I thought I could hit the gong. There you go, thank you. Chicken power! Oops. I don't even know what we're gonna do with all this money. You don't really need it anymore. What? I don't know. Maybe Ramona and Scott can get a house on Long Island. Long Island? Yeah. And they can say they have a house on Long Island. Ha! Ah, just so they can say it like that. That's how everybody says it up there. Yep. Long Island. That's how they pronounce it. You know what I find is weird is like when people say instead of strength, hmm. I hear so many people say strength. What? What yeah. people? No, I've been hearing like people making speeches online and stuff. They say, "Give me the strength." It's like, what? What word is that? I've never heard of that in my entire life. What? What type of accent do they have? Like, where are they well, from? There was, uh, well, for instance, like. I don't know where they was from. I think they were from somewhere in the Midwest or something. Hmm. Uh, like, I'm gonna say, like, Minnesota or Michigan. <laughs> Thank so you, Devin. Weird. It was, like, freaking me out. And then I heard, like, a couple other people say that. Like, hmm. like usually it's people that, like, are highly, quote, educated. They'll, like, say it like that as if that's the proper way to say it. They'll say strength. Strength. That Okay. I don't know why, though. It's, it's weird. It's freaking me out. I'm starting to think I'm on an alternate Earth where everyone's the same. Hmm. It's like, it's really freaking me out. I've heard it from a couple different people. You don't have to. You can go in the door and avoid the balls if you want. Mm. Yeah. It's just, no, I prefer. I prefer concrete. Why not? Life is already full of it. Why not just get it going? Thank you so much, Devin, for the super chat. Nice to see you, man. Thank you for the super chat, Devin. Dun, 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 dun. Long Island. Yeah, I've never heard that. Like. Yeah, there was a. Uh, well, there was like this. Uh, first, I heard it from like some. Uh, first, I heard it from some like. There was some kind of like pastor in New York giving a speech and then I heard it from like some YouTuber that was like highly educated that was talking about like really important terms or something and they used the term strength mm. and I was like what in the world do they not see the G in it like is the G silent like what is going on like what planet am I on like I've never heard it pronounced that way I, I, wow. I just think that they're making it up to screw with me <laughs> 
Okay. You never know, I guess. I don't trust anybody. I, I found out, I'm not going to say who, but I know a YouTuber who, for the longest time, I thought he was Canadian. And it turns out he was faking a Canadian accent. Oh my gosh. Yep. Well, not to mention that one guy's wife that was faking being from Spain. Yeah. For forever. Yeah. And she even said, like, oh, her family's originally in Spain because they recently moved to Spain the last month for the, you know, they lived their entire life in the United States. Then they, then they moved to Spain in their retirement with a retirement home, even though they're completely, like, 100%, you know, probably English, Irish, Scottish, etc. Like, not Spanish at all. And she's just, ah. like... And she didn't even... Then she, would like, on her web... Uh, she, like, listed on her website, like, of different places. Like, when... Not only did she pretend she was from Spain, but she named all her kids like they were uh, Spanish names. And then she pretended she faked a Spanish accent for like 10 years. And then, and then after that, it, it, like she actually wrote, Aww. like there were blog sites she was on, like where she said she forgot the word for cucumber in English, even though she's lived in America her entire life. Yeah. And then she actually wrote on the blog site that she, that she was born in the country, basically in the city that her parents like vacation to. It's almost like... Her parents vacation there, and then she was like, whoa, what if I pretend I'm from here? And then she did. It was so weird. And now, like, her husband is, like, being all like, oh, you guys are making lies about my wife. It's like, But no. she pretended to be. It's like, she said she was from Spain. She said she was born there when she was born in, like, somewhere in the East Coast. I forgot where it was. Boston. Like, yeah. She was a Bostonian. It's like, why? She lived, did she even live in a Spanish neighborhood or no? No, she's not even Spanish at all. Oh, that, oh, I know who you're talking about now. Okay. Yep. I remember that. She just has black hair so she could get away with it. Either that or she dyed her hair black. And there's no way of knowing. But yeah, um, the dude who pretended to be ca Canadian, nothing happened to him though. Like, um, yeah, it was, it was before, so it was before cancel culture. Yeah, I know. Imagine if, if we pretended something like that. Yeah. We had, like, a whole bunch of people leave were pretending, like, that we... Oh, oh my gosh, you guys you guys have an editor that helps you edit stuff once in a while. It's like, yeah, most YouTubers have a team of 50 people. They're just like, oh, I'm leaving. It's like, um, okay, well, um, I don't know why you would because, like, most YouTubers need help. Like, what are you talking about? <sighs> I'm gonna hit people with a radish. Oh, um, guys, so we are we already did the we did we paid the movie rentals. If you guys are just joining, we're like max level. We have a decent amount of mm -hmm. lives, um, and you know. I mean, I get that everybody wishes they were like <clears throat> had a Spanish accent. I mean, I understand that. But, Spanish accent's cool. But it's like, I mean, just like pretending you were. I don't know. Like, if you really okay for 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 argument's sake. Okay. If I wanted to be Hispanic, but I was not, or I wish I was from Spain, but I was not, mm -hmm. the way I would go about doing it is just find a way that I would spend 10, 15 years in Spain oh. and then get a natural Spanish accent from that yep. and learn about Spanish culture. And then I kind of would Dang. be from Spain, not really would be from there, but at least I would be like, oh, I, you know, now I'm part of that culture instead of like pretend you're from there. Mm-hmm. Like, because you visited your parents there on vacation, like, two two times. <laughs> it's like, if you really were obsessed about it that much, why not just go there? It's so weird. Hmm. Yep. Okay, so we're on, we're on our fifth level now. <clears throat> Come on, game. Yeah, I mean, like, if they're, if that celebrity couple was nice, mm -hmm. then I would try to be nicer, but they they always criticize everybody else, and they're so mean, so it's like, well, you guys have that coming to you. Yep. That's interesting. YouTubers uh, and celebrities do a lot of weird stuff. Yeah, and they mostly get away with it. It's, some people get away with it, and some people don't. I just don't know the difference. Like, why? I honestly feel like there's no rhyme or reason to Cool it. Shinji's from Jersey? I knew it! No, that's fine, man. <laughs> that's fine. 
Luke is gonna live in Jersey someday. No! It's gonna be his penance for always all the stuff he said about Jersey. It's gonna end up in Jersey. Pretending costs less money. That's true. Yeah, but it's like, but it's so like, no, oh. it's it's so like like lame. It's like it's like, dude, like the, I don't know. It's just like, how can you live with yourself? How can you live with yourself when you're telling everybody that you're from Spain? And like even like her classmates and stuff that grew up with her was like were like when she was like on these talk shows and stuff, they were always like, um, she's not from Spain. Like can we hit people with pumpkins? I don't know, it was just so weird. Like Aww. I mean, how could you do that and not like think oh, someone pumpkin. would call you out eventually? Which somebody eventually did. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. You would think eventually you would get caught. No. Only, it, not everybody gets caught doing weird stuff. It reminds me of this girl in my class that told everyone in the class she had an elevator in her house because she was so rich. But in reality, she lived in a pretty poor neighborhood, honestly. So, like, I visited her house one time. Hardly anyone visited her house. I visited her house one time, and shocker, no elevator. So, <laughs> like... And then the but <laughs> of all the things to lie about, why lie about an elevator? I don't know. It was like what so is... important to her. I mean, so then the next how time... how big was her house that she would need it an wasn't, elevator? It wasn't big at all. It was probably mm. smaller than this apartment. It was not big. Can you imagine if there was an elevator going upstairs when it only takes like a second <laughs> to then, walk like, up the when, stairs? When I went to school, like she was like she kept telling people, and they're like, oh, oh yeah, I remember when I went back to school. The kids at my school were like, oh. Amber, like, you went to her house, is there an elevator? And she was, like, winking at me, just like, say yes! Like, <laughs> like, she was just, like, trying to get me to say yes, and I was like, I couldn't, at that point in my life, I was just the kind of person that was, like, I could not tell a lie. Like, I was actually known for that, like, uh -oh. so, like, I don't remember if I lost a friendship, but I'm pretty sure I told them, like, no, I didn't see an elevator, maybe it wasn't in the place I part of the house I went to. See, like, when, when I was a kid, people would lie about having like big TVs, or their brother was like uh, had a really cool job when their brother worked at the grocery store, or yeah. something. Like it, it was a <laughs> kind of a believable lie. I don't understand why anybody would brag about having an elevator in their house. <laughs> it's leaked over the top. Unless they lived in a condo that was like an apartment complex where you would need no. an elevator to get up to your apartment. No, this was just a regular house. I, uh, and her mom was like a single mom and like you know they were struggling and stuff which i guess i understand why she made that up about the elevator because she probably wanted to appear like she had more money than she did mm. but i feel bad but it's like dude like you don't have an elevator i don't know why you would make it up but i guess it makes sense i don't know like i my brother had the worst thing ever his friend I think his friend told a lie so much that his friend actually started to believe it. Nope. My my littlest brother said that fine. I'll try to. I'm I'm. There's no way to get me it's because right, I'm bye. on top of a platform. So basically, like, I don't even know how that happened. Basically, to be like my brother's my brother's friend literally came to school one day and was like, "I'm training to be like a Jedi." And then, like, is see, this... that's a fun lie. <laughs> no, 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 you don't understand. This got way out of hand. Like, every day he would have more and more things to say. Like, I'm building my lightsaber now. Like, everyone was like, No, you're not. So he was basically doing that thing that they do in Japan, where they pretend they have superpowers. Yeah, that's and, exactly and then what in, he did. And then in high school, if you bring it up, they get super embarrassed because they acted one way in junior high, yeah, and in high school they're trying to stay under the radar. That's exactly what he did. Oh, what's every... that term? Every day, he would talk more and more about the progress he was making of his Jedi. And, like, people would be like, um, the, he's like, yeah, I have the Jedi robes and stuff. Like, it's all, you know, coming together. And I'm in the process of building my lightsaber. And, like, like people would be like, fine, let me go to your house. And he's like, no, my mom isn't letting me have any anyone over right now. Like, he's like, plus. And then, like, once people did go to his house... Then they, they were like, where is it? And he's like, oh, it's in a special place in the garage. He's like, but you can't go in there. <laughs> so, like, so like I don't know. It got so weird. And then my brother was, like, friends with this guy. So, like, after a while, my brother was like, uh, he's like, you're not training to be a Jedi. He's like, 
he, he would like tell him like Jedi's are not real so you're lying and he was like no they are real and I'm not lying and he's like no they are not real he's like it's in a movie it's not real he's like I don't believe you he's like fine so like I think my brother and him literally stopped being friends because he would not stop lying and saying he was a Jedi Hey guys, what's that term in Japan if you pretend you have superpowers or you have like some type of evil that's bandaged under your eye and um, you're trying to keep the world safe and you have like this, um, uh, there, there's a term for that type of um, role play in Japan where people honestly believe in junior yeah. high that they have some type of But that's the thing, thing. When, when people would confront him about it, he actually believed he was a Jedi. Like, I saw the look in his eye. Like, it seemed real to him. It was so weird. Yeah, and then later on, he, like, went to college and acted normal, and I was, like, so freaked out. I was like, I thought you were insane. Like, I'm so confused. No, no, no. It's not a loony. It's it's a literal term. Um, starts with a C. Um... They make, like, so many animes about it where these kids are normal, but then one kid, like, might have, like, mysterious powers, but they really don't, but they're acting like they do. Um, yeah, that's it. That's C-word. I can't say that. It's right there. Ch Chunibyo? Yeah, something like that. Chunibyo? Thank you, guys. Yeah, it was so weird because, like, People would just be like, well, just admit, like, just admit that you are making this up, though. It's just for fun. And he would never admit it. It was like, for years, he did not admit it. Like, he just kept going with this thing for years. Mm. So weird. I kind of miss that I didn't do something like that. That would have no, been fun. That would have driven me nuts. Did he have a lot of friends or no? Was he... People just thought he was crazy. No, actually, my... Well... He, it's weird. He and my brother used to be kind of like loners mm. at the time. And then, like, I thought the guy was going to lose all his friends because of this weird thing he did. But, you know, my brother ended up going to school and just concentrating on school and nothing else. So it was hard for him to make a lot of friends. But this guy ended up becoming super popular after that. Wow. I know. It seems so unfair. I used you to probably always, use Jedi mind tricks. I always used to be angry because I thought my brother didn't lie about being a Jedi. He should have had the friends. This guy is some kind of freak. And you he will up, be my friend. Yeah, that's what I I know. Jedi he, mind trick. Maybe he was a Jedi. There it doesn't go. make any sense. I mean, I wouldn't be a friend with somebody who's insane. I mean, except for myself. You're not insane. No, I don't. Laser beam of death. All right, so we just have to destroy his arm again, and then avoid his. Oh, okay. That yeah, it made me so angry that, you know, and also my brother tried to be his friend during this entire time that everyone was saying he was crazy, mm -hmm. and then he just left my brother in the dust, and then like had all these like popular friends later. It made me really angry because I was like, if somebody tries to be your friend during the time where you're pretending to be a Jedi. You should really keep them as a friend. It's not fair to leave them. Like, you know, just cut them loose when you become popular. It's kind of a jerk move. Yeah, remember the spikes down there equal death. My brother was pretty nice. I mean, he's not always nice, but compared to most people back Your youngest school, or the oldest brother? My youngest, but now he's a little bit different. He was nice back then. What? Maybe you don't agree. It's okay. I I never had a, a problem with your your brothers. Okay. It seems like they were pretty cool. Yeah, back in the day. But then when they visited, it was difficult. Only one's visited so far. I know. When we were living in Illinois, you next time next time they visit, it's like if they're like, this is the only week I can visit. Be like, well, there won't be any problem with that anymore because we'll be right there, so they can visit anytime. Yeah. So if that's not the that's the only week they can visit, be like, okay, we'll see you next year. Basically what happened is, okay, I will explain the situation. My brother said it was the only week he can visit. So then like Luke and I moved heaven and earth to make sure he could visit. And then when he got here, 
like basically um I don't know what it was, but like basically I don't I don't we remember. Had, we had an obligation to go to New York City for Yeah, work. we had to go to New York City and then he seemed kind of upset that we had to go, but we had no choice. We couldn't change the date and he said this was only week you could visit. And it was so hard. We had to literally be in this hor this this thing together and cramped in there. And he seemed super annoyed that he was there. But we told him like we had to go for work and we'd have to bring him with us. And he said it was the only week he could visit. And then later on, when he came back, when he got back, we saw on his Facebook, he's like, well, I have three weeks left on my vacation. So that wasn't the only week he could visit. Mm -hmm. And for somebody going to seminary school... It was supposed to be really, like, a... Never mind. I just... Our New York venture was fun, though. I don't understand why there would have been a problem if, if, you know... No, it's just... I, I, I don't know. I... I kind of forgot about that. I can't... It's hard, it's hard for me to... I don't know. I, I at least balls. I said it now. Balls, balls, balls. I didn't balls. mean to that. It's, 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 it's been hard because, you know, like... I don't like to expect things from people, but other people like to expect things from me. Oh. And especially when my husband moves heaven and earth for somebody, I don't know. It's just was hard for me. I don't know. That was difficult. Yes, you did. Mm. It was difficult. Mm. I I hope things will be better once we actually end up in Illinois. I hope they don't get worse. Probably get better. It'll also be, I mean, we'll be going to. That's why I pl I'm planning to learn. I'm I'm planning to learn a sport. That way I can relate to my brothers and my dad or something. What sport are you gonna learn? Well, that's the only sport I know that they like is the Chicago Cubs. So you're so, gonna go see like. I don't uh, know. Maybe I mean. Yeah, maybe go the for it. not the cub not the Cubs. I don't have enough money for that, but like triple A team or something. There's triple A teams all over Illinois. Yeah, that's what a. I think I will do. But I'm just saying for the future, I'm gonna like become a baseball fanatic. Okay. That way I have something to talk about. Then you can get better at baseball games. Yeah, right now I'm <laughs> really bad at the baseball <laughs> games. Sorry, Yu Gi Oh. Uh... Oh, I I love I love you know you and I love my brother. It's difficult. Just things about. I haven't. Oh. It's. I cannot visit my family because you know we have health issues that make it impossible, and it's been very hard on me. Extremely hard on me. I know. Moved out of there because of how unbearable they are. Illinois has ridiculous taxes. We know, but Amber's. Um, my in-laws are in Illinois, and they're going to be closer to us. Like. Illinois is a terrible state in so many ways. I don't I don't like some aspects I, of Pennsylvania. Either. I can explain all the things that are terrible about Illinois. Holy cow. I am from there. Okay, number one. Terrible thing about Illinois. Number one. Schools close because of ice, not snow. There's no snow uh -oh. in the winter basically. The the streets are covered with ice to the point where if you literally like go five miles an hour you could like spin out and crash and die in the middle of the street just because the streets are literally covered with ice so black ice there isn't the first problem and mm. yes we know there's ice in other states but i don't think if <laughs> there's ice in all kinds if of you things. have never been to illinois you do not understand what the ice is like it's covering every street it's all over the place also, you don't get to play in the snow. There's like there's like a half inch of snow. And then everyone in school is like, oh my gosh, it snowed last night. It's like, no, it didn't. It's not even covering the grass entirely. Like, that does not count as snow. Oh, we got somebody from Portugal watching. What up? Hello, Portugal person. Shout out to Portugal, my peeps. So, uh, number two. Number two um, problem with Illinois is... Mm. Well, probably the taxes. Number three problem with Illinois. That's neat. No jobs. There are no jobs in Illinois. Honestly, I don't I don't believe it. We have an online job, though. I know, but I'm just telling you that if you go to Illinois looking for work, have fun living in a tent because there are no jobs. Or have fun getting a job by somebody that you knows your uncle, who knows your brother, who knows your cousin, who knows somebody that went to church with your you know aunt sandra you know it you cannot get a job unless you like yeah like you have to like know somebody from your family but also like 
the jobs are are really bad. Like I'm not. It's not like it's not like. Oh, I I remember I was there. Let's see. There's a lot of factories, and yep. then there's a lot of really terrible jobs that pay nothing. Those are the two options you have. There's nothing. It's not like, oh, you know, come work for a thriving company or something. No, that's not happening. I the mean, only jobs that I got working at factories, I became a scab, and people hated me. Like people used to pick it like. I'm sorry. Every day. I hated that. I felt, but I needed the work, so I didn't think I was a bad person, but the yelling obscenities at me and keying my car and oh all kinds gosh. of... Yeah. Yeah. You never noticed, like, the, the sedan was keyed, but, like, the back of it, like... Well, I don't notice things like that. Mm. I'm not, like... I'm not, like, certain family in the East Coast that's always, like, noticing weird details about things. I don't really care. The only reason people... Your car could be completely scratched up. Yeah. I, I wouldn't even blink. I honestly, I don't care. I have to I hold on to this I would key. like a nice time with people. That's all I care about. Oh. Anyway. Get over here, Beaver. So there's number three problem with Illinois. No jobs, icy roads, taxes. Number four, um, I don't know. It's just, it's just lame. I, I don't know. There's nothing to do. They're, you know, and... You know... You just summed up 2020 and 2021, Right, though. so just imagine if you go to Illinois, it'll be like being in 2020 forever. I know, but we're in the middle of nowhere in Pennsylvania, and so... Honestly, I haven't been to every town in Illinois. I haven't... I mean, I have been to St... Uh, isn't St. Louis in Illinois? I don't know. St. Louis? Or what am I thinking of? Springfield, Illinois? Springfield, Illinois is in Illinois, yeah. And then but there's, there's also Chicago. spring. There's a Springfield, um, Massachusetts too. Rockfield or Rock Rockford is okay. I don't really know. Mm. I haven't really been there that much. They seem to have more shops and stuff. Chicago is interesting, but there's so many roads. Like, why do you have to have four things of? Why do you have to? Like, why do you have to? Have Five or six lanes of highway just to go from one place to the other. There's like no... I don't understand in Chicago why there are so many lanes of road. There are like more lane. There is like a wide... There are more lanes on the highway going into Chicago than there is in New York City. There's like two or three lanes of highway going into New York City and that is a huge city. In Chicago, it's like five or six lanes of, of road. Yeah. For no reason. But they, there's also another state that does that, too. It's so stupid. Mm. So, yeah, there's so many problems with Illinois. Like, number number six. Like The reason just, why we're going, though, is to be close to your mom and dad. So. I know, but you told me I have to tell them that it, that's not the reason. Well, yeah, obviously. I mean, we have a lot of opportunities with YouTube. But uh, I didn't Chicago. tell your family that wasn't the reason. Huh? Your family knew very well I was there because of them. I, I didn't tell There's them. There's no that. reason. What are you talking about? I would never be there if it wasn't. Well, I know that. I would. I wanted to leave every single day. What are you talking about? I'm not talking about anything. Okay. You can try to throw the zombie in the grave if you want. I don't think anything will happen. Though. I'm actually. Gonna anyway, so the other problem with Illinois is okay. Good things about Illinois. Oh man. Great Doesn't things work. about Illinois. Number one, prairies. Awesome. Go see the prairies. They're beautiful. Number two, people always say hi to you, and they're super nice. Uh, unless you somehow break an etiquette rule, which then... Honestly, though, honestly, though, even though they they might glare at you, it's still not as mean as some other states, I, mm. I feel. I feel a Midwest person's being a version of being mean is not as mean as the East Coast version. Or, did that version of being mean. It's my... Of course I could be wrong. I haven't been there in so long, so I'm kind of idolizing it. East Coast is just blunt. That's the, the differences. Uh, yeah, but unless you're a crazy person living in the East Coast, just like really cruel and mean, and you're not really blunt and honest. You're just crazy. Okay. You got this. I'm going to go up here and fight the zombies. <sighs> Oops. Oh, I fell in the... Mm. I mean, not everybody living in every state is the same. Well, yeah, obviously. So, guys, after this level, we're going to give away a copy of the game. Um, and then hopefully defeat uh, Gideon our first time through. Yeah, honestly, I can't think of any more problems with Illinois. Except for the fact that the roads are, like, pretty bad. Don't live in Buffalo. Don't live in Buffalo, New York. Why? The roads are worse. 
Buffalo, New York has like one of the worst like roads I can think of. Like that's my dream to live there. I Buffalo? even told I even told my dad on the phone I hope to live there someday. Because of the snow. I want yep. my I want my kids to not have to go to school during the snow. Yep, Buffalo, New York would I definitely have lots of snow. I don't want my kids to look out the window while they're at school and be like, darn it, like I wish I was outside because it's snowing. That was supposed to be Pennsylvania though, and it hasn't I really know. snowed. That's why we came here. That was one of the reasons. It's like, oh yeah, we'll come here and we'll have a family and then our kids will be able to not have to go to school during snow days. Yeah. But it didn't work out. Like there's there's no snow here. Well, it's because we're in the we're stuck in a, a valley. valley. Valley, yep. Yeah. No snow. It's so disappointing. Honestly, if we had if we were in the mountains right now, I think we I would be way less depressed. Because like it's so depressing being in a valley. Honestly, we're gonna be like below sea level again. Well, like, actually, no, we're gonna be right at sea level. Cause... The best the best places to live are, I. And if you have the money for it, if you had endless funds, the best places to live would be in the mountains or on the ocean. Those are the top two places to live. Like, there is no better place. But the only problem is living... It is so much fresher air on the mountains. Hurricanes. Right? I know, you but... Don't worry it, about the hurricanes. It's still so much fresher, like... Oh, that's just mean. He's not gonna let you do it. Dang, you showed him. Why is that skeleton guy just standing there? This is creepy. <sighs> no, don't try. But honestly, though... Haha, <laughs> I'm faster. Best thing, uh, best things about Illinois, though, like what I was saying on my uh, uh, stream earlier, though, people just are. You don't need to be, like, have a title and make, act like you're important or oh something. Oh my gosh. Like, you can just be yourself. You can just be somebody's neighbor. Nice. nice. Wow, you're, that, really, you're destroying everybody. That's what I like about the Midwest, is mm. it's not, like, so competitive. Like... Uh-oh. Ugh. I don't want to get into this, but I just... No, can't. we lost the chat. Guys, are you still there? Is there a phone? My phone? Did? It says chat just... It says chat up there. It says... No, that's been disconnected forever, but my phone was working with the internet before. What about that chat up uh, there? It says people are still chatting right there. Guys, can you see? But yeah, that's the thing I don't like about Illinois. The still there. extreme wind chill of the cold, the icy roads, <clears throat> the fact that there's nothing to do, there's no jobs. Um, I've already said there's no jobs. So. I know. I was just making my point. Okay. Alright guys, we're gonna try to pick a winner randomly. Um, my phone's dead, does yours work? I mean, mine works, but it's not working with the internet. It's just being all buggy and weird. Because I have the code ready to give away. <clears throat> but I think I'm offline, so I don't know how I'm gonna... I could give the code away on the K-Wing Reviews Twitter, and I can do Instagram, but I don't have access to the other stuff. But, honestly though, in my brother's defense though, there's not been a single family member that has ever visited us for like a decade and a half, and my brother did come. Yeah, your brother did and come. And it meant a lot the world to me. Okay. Giveaway time! Let's go! Um, remember guys, this is for the Nintendo Switch. R.I.P. chat. Poke, poke, poke. Uh, I do not like how hot it is in Texas and I miss the snow. Yeah, I don't like hot weather either. Okay, so I'm gonna pick somebody randomly in the chat. Uh, hopefully you guys liked and shared the video, all that good stuff. Looks like you did like and share the video, awesome. Yeah, good make time. sure you guys like and share. And, um, how, hopefully you guys have a Facebook, Twitter, or a Instagram, so we can easily get you the code. Alright. Let's you should go. sue Pennsylvania for so falsely advertising snow. You <laughs> should sue Pennsylvania, maybe. Um, hmm. Who do I want to give this to? Scrolling, 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 scrolling. Just do like a random thing. I'm trying to. Uh, Here, I do like this, like this. Random. Okay, watch. Just scroll down and then you do this. Boom. Whatever that was. Really? Okay. That's how I do it. You want me to do it again? Um, we'll try this one. Okay. 
Um, JR Zoo, you won the copy of the game by random. Uh, do you have a Twitter, Facebook, or an Instagram so we can send you a copy of the code? Or the code itself. Best luck participants. Yeah, Amber just picked somebody random. She literally made the chat scroll really fast and then she stopped her finger on somebody. That's not what I do it. That's pretty funny. Yeah, I have a Twitter. All right, what's your Twitter, man? I will follow you and send you the code. Um, I will, I will uh, contact you right now on my phone. Um, what is your Twitter handle? That is really weird that it would just disconnect like that. But it's still going. But the Wi-Fi is yeeted. It's totally gone. All right, what's his Twitter handle? JRZU? I don't know. Yay, I have Twitter. JRZU14. At JRZU14, probably. J... RZU? A-R-Z-U? Mm-hmm. 14? Mm-hmm. Just like that? There, there he is. Just... Congrats. Uh, DM me and I'll send you. You could probably the just. Code. You can probably DM him right now. Oh, okay. Well, I'll I'll see. Okay. Now you can just click on his name after writing it. Is it gonna show up that I wrote it? Yeah, there we go. Okay, so oh, I I mean I like, I loved walking in the park in Illinois and. I used to love in the I, I used to live in this beautiful town in Illinois that I just loved <clears throat> but we moved away and like everyone was so nice there. It was called Lake Villa, Illinois. That was such a beautiful town. And everyone was super nice there. It had really nice schools and like like mm. hay rides and all kinds of awesome stuff and then I moved away there from there when I was five and I moved to this awful town that I hated every day and that's why I hate Illinois because I lived in the worst town ever in Illinois but maybe when I go to Illinois again I will live in a better town hopefully what do you think Luke? I'm just dividing this video because it's easier for me to when, when the code is in fours it's easier for me to see it I don't, I don't like, when it's yeah, all Luke, jumbled I'm together, sorry. I have I've problems been, with that. I, I've had this, like, pain, like, here for, like, three or four days. You need to go get Tylenol. I know, I don't have you, any Tylenol. and I'm telling you to get Tylenol. I think it's making it very irritable, I'm sorry. Yeah. It's like, it hurt, it hurts a lot. Very concerned. That, I think that's right. Does uh, that look right? I think so. Wait, let me see. I have the code right there in four fours. I think that's right. Mm -hmm. That is correct. That's the correct code. Alright, here you go, Jay. Here Should you go. Mm. I just sent it. I totally sent it. Oh. Um, I was trying to write congrats on your copy of Scott Pilgrim. Scott Pilgrim. <laughs> mm. All right, so there's only about. <laughs> That's perfect. He wrote, "All right." All right, awesome. thank you, Jay Arzu. Thanks so much, Jay, and um, thank you to all the participants. Thank you, everyone, for participating. And congratulations, Jay Arzu. You are the winner of today's copy of Scott Pilgrim versus the World. Congratulations, Jay. The winner is you. Yep, and guys, we do giveaways during live streams now because it's this easy. It's this quick. And uh, it seems to work out pretty well. So this is our third or fourth successful contest during a live stream, I think. So. All right, so we're on the last level now. Yoink. That didn't work. And we have six lives to beat the crazy boss. It's not the boss that's the problem. It's a stupid last level where you have to go to the Technodrome. I hate that. It's not fun. Because you have to avoid all the lasers and everything. Like, the boss himself is not too difficult. It's just... 
Ow, all the shenanigans surrounding said boss. Yeah. You got this. <clears throat> and reminder, guys, there's uh, one more stream tonight. Um, and it's uh, Legend of Zelda OG at uh, 11 o'clock. Or though, if this wraps before like 10.30, I'll probably just start it early. Because I have some videos I need to edit. And then I'm probably out going to post uh, one of the Batman news videos I made. I just have to edit it. Ouch. <laughs> ah! I'm a delicate flower. Ow, ow, ow. Not cool. There you go. Bye bye. Ah! Whoops. And if you guys want to uh, check out the original series, you're more than welcome to. And uh, we'll probably be ah, doing another giveaway um, towards the end of this month. Like next week, I don't know what it'll be on though. I have to see what uh, what game it was because we were, mm. we were supposed to be promoting a game that got delayed until the end of the month. Uh, I don't remember. Man, what it was. I wish that when we moved to Illinois, then mm. we'll be like. I wish the rent was like one half this. But it nope, won't it's be. gonna be more. It'd be uh, 150 to 200 dollars more unless I can get them to somehow like I don't know agree to a similar rent thing that we have. Yeah, but I thought, like, the Midwest was always supposed to be less expensive. Mm. I guess it depends if you live near a big city or not. Yeah, that's that's a factor. Because, like, I had my first apartment I had for $300 a month. Yeah, I know. It's like, I always wish we could live somewhere like that. But... I know. Mm. But it also, you have to remember, when I look for places to live, I look for places that we're going to be safe, that actually has stuff nearby. If there's a hospital, like less than four miles there's a grocery store uh there's a uh, bank a couple banks and uh you know some other things I, I like to just like when i i scoped out the area that we are now like um i made sure that it had you know all the things that we would need without like wasting too much on gas money and stuff like that because we're we're going to be near like one of those really big highways in the Chicago, Illinois yeah, area. Yeah, I mean so. it will be worth it because we can go in for conventions and stuff. Yep, we, we'll be able to go to see CEE2 when they actually do stuff. And I don't even know what that is. It's a comic book and video game convention in Chicago that's been going on for almost as long as PAX East. It's not as big as PAX East though, I don't mm, think. Maybe it'll, I mean... Maybe it'll be easier to walk around and mm. talk to people then. I mean, do they have game developers there? And yeah. Stuff? Like the same game developers that come like to PAX and stuff? Also, we have the O'Hare Airport. So, I mean, it's like you could always go to PAX if you needed to. It would only, like, I used to fly to, from Chicago to New York all the, in the summer. Um, it would only be like a... It's like an hour and a half flight. Isn't the Chicago O'Hare Airport, isn't that in Home Alone? Isn't uh, that the airport they fly out of? Where are you? Oh, yeah, well. that is Chicago. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's O'Hare. Yeah. Yeah, I, I used to, I even flew back from college in New York to the, oh my gosh, you guys are just wrecking me straight up. Mm. What? Oh, whatever. Fine. They didn't give you a chance to revive me because the game was stupid. That's okay. That's fine. All right, guys. Final boss time. Part one. Now, remember he has, like, that weird um, all-white blink thing that makes him invincible? Although, you've killed pretty much all the evil exes. Like, this stream. And you've decimated him. Because I have rage issues. Mm. Mm. Oh, crap. He's white. Yeah, I know. I'm trying to avoid him now. He's flashing white. Yeah, there you go. Okay, now he's gonna throw a meteor at us. Or not. I was wrong. I thought he was gonna throw a meteor. Mm. Well, maybe your friend Chris will come over before we leave. He will. I mean, as long as the thing I mean, I isn't bad. I wish we could go up and see him. Yeah, I don't think he wants people over. Well, not now. Well, yeah, I know it. Oh. 
I don't, I don't think he's not. The boss isn't gonna let you do it. No. Oh, no. Mm. No, he's evil. <sighs> that was mean. He's almost dead. It's just, I don't know. Yep, Amber's the one to kill him again. Huh. <laughs> All right, guys, next part of the level, and then the Technodrome. Whoa. Oh, great. This place where stuff drips on us. This I one's even, not too bad. I don't even know what the stuff is that's dripping on us. Blood. Luke, why, couldn't, why did you have to say that? Because we're not a KIDS channel? It's cherry stuff. No, we can't say that. You're supposed to be inside the body of uh, that dude now, so those things floating in the background are ow, like um, I don't know cells or something. Yeah. Ow, dang it! Why is it that when you play this on your own you run, but when you play it with me you walk? I'm I'm. That's what I don't understand. I'm I'm running right now. I've been running. Mm. It's just hard for me to see a little bit. I'm used to playing as Scott, so I forget who I'm playing as. Ow. Meh. Anybody can use the heart sword, it doesn't matter. Alright, I guess I'll use the heart sword. Okay, so the exact oh, spot... Oh, yeah, you can I think do the heart sword. right here. There's some place in particular I'm supposed to stand where I'm not going to get hit at all. I think it's here. Second form of Gideon. Ramona dated this guy? Question mark. No, nope, that's not it. That's not the right spot. No. No, girl, pick oh up the sword. Oh my gosh. Yeah, he's annoying. But even though he's kind of annoying, the um Ow! The boss battle or the Technodrome level is the most annoying. I don't, I don't ow, I don't like the Technodrome. Ramona, pick up the sword. Percy, ow. Mmm. Man, he's crazy. He's super annoying. I was nowhere near him! Seriously, how could he... Yeah, that's what I thought. Alright, let's go, dude. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, he punched me. Yeah, he's gonna do that. Ow. Oh, what? I thought that was my safe spot. Yeah, well, sometimes the safe spot doesn't always work. Like, always see how he's it. he's moving? He's moving in place? But I always ah! use that as my safe spot. Yep. They ch he changed the... We got lucky those other times. He's changed the stupid pattern. So now, now he's gonna, like, kill all our lives. Shoot. Grab the sword. Dang it! Ah! There we go. Yeah, you got him. Just, she's not picking up the sword. Show me your heart! There we go. Okay. Hard part's over. Technodrome time. Oh, one last hard um, part. So, she will have a different, uh, yeah. thing? Yep. I mean, it, it won't be a very long ending. It'll be like, I don't know, 15 seconds, 30 seconds. But it'll definitely be Ramona's ending. It should be. Yeah. Uh. Robots. Well, I noticed that some people made comments about Disney. Hmm. That game. Disney Infinity. Yeah. Yeah. I enabled I thought that we again. weren't. I thought we weren't allowed to say that name because of FTC, though. Hmm. No, it's fine. I'm just so confused what's going on in the world. I know. So yeah, I just responded like, I just saw a comment and I was just like, well, the servers of that game are down, so you can't really play that, but thank you for Somebody that. was asking, do you guys still have the, the figurines? It's like, they're probably in a box somewhere. We have them all over the place. I mean, we have, we have them upstairs, like on shelves and stuff. Like, yeah. Well, yeah. A lot of them are probably in a box. Oh no, wait, it blows up. No, we never get rid of anything. Luke hoards everything he's ever played. Drives me nuts. 
Yeah, I'm a hoarder. I always tell him, like, we played this game ten years ago, you're never gonna play it again, let's just get rid of it. So we have more space, and then you could also sell these and make money, and then we could, you know, buy groceries or whatever, but he's like, no, this is my collection. Accurate. Well, yep. Yep. One of these days, I'm gonna end up like with like nothing but crackers to eat, and I'll be like, they'll find me here yeah. alone, like completely without any like food or water, and then I'll be surrounded by video games. That will be how I will end. That will be the that will that will be the ha way it will happen. Mm. That's how I will end up being needed for the world. Mousers! They're basically Mousers. Yeah, no. Mean guys! I'm dead! Sorry. That's fine. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Seriously, stupid Mousers. Boom. What? Nice! So, Gideon only has one form left. Why won't it let me hit that? Thank you. Ow. Yeah, I mean, it does kind of make you feel like... Usually, like, a hero, like, has to be, like, pure in heart. So the fact that Scott is cheating on people kind of makes you not want to play as him. But, whatever. I mean, maybe it was just that he did it in the movie. I didn't really read the comics. I saw what the movie was. Oops. The game, I mean is not necessarily a reflection of the movie. I mean, it, it could be a different universe. I don't know if Scott uh, was loyal to Knives or not. Uh-oh. Well, I mean, he's trying to date Ramona, and... Yeah. So, I mean... Whoop. Oh, there you go. Ah! Jeez, dang it. I don't like the big guys. Take care of the little Mauser guys first. Oof. Oh my gosh, why are there babies in the background? Oh, I know where we're... Okay, they're making clones of Ramona. That's what's going on. Oh my gosh, it's so creepy. Yeah. Why does he want to clone her, though? He's obsessed with her? I don't know. So this boyfriend is obsessed with her? I guess. Mm. Maybe it's not supposed to make sense. I mean, we are literally in a technodrome, well, so... Maybe she should marry him. I mean, he's obsessed with her. Hmm. Probably lavish her with expensive gifts. Probably. Either that or he'll just keep her under lock and key, never let her go outside. Kind of like that one guy who married that one lady. Oh my gosh. That one, that one really famous, like, a music producer. He married, like, the, the lady that was his lead singer, and he was kind of insane. And, like, once she, like, married him, she said, like, basically, he kept it, like, dark all the time. He never let her go outside, and he didn't let her listen to anything but classical music. She couldn't listen to 60s girl groups anymore. Whoa. Yeah, he was, I, like, yeah, super I, intense. And then he did something else bad that I can't talk about. Probably not. But then I, he, I know where you're going I think he went to jail. Well, yeah, I mean, usually if you break the law commit a crime, uh, that but tends to be what she happens. she did love him, it's just that he was kind of insane. Mm -hmm. And he wrote all those hit songs for her. Yep. That definitely reminds me of the kind of guy that, um... I mean, I would be fine with that, honestly. If somebody made me sit in the dark and listen to classical music all the time, I'd be fine. I'd be completely fine with that. I mean, as long as I got, like, something out of it. Like, I got some, like, pension or something. That's the one thing I wish I, I did, was get, like, a way... <laughs> one of our apartments, we had really nice drapes where we could make it really dark in the room, so when I was done working, um, or yeah. I could actually sleep without, like, the sun, like, getting in my eyes. But the way the windows are designed in this house, it's very hard to, to cover up the light, so... That's uh, the place I'm looking in in that Chicago area has like uh, kind of that ability that um, our one place had with the really thick like um, what do you call them blind things or not blinds um, yeah. draped things. Final boss guys, and we have oh Amber has more lives than me. I'll let you do a run of the work because I'm gonna die. 
I'm not doing very well. Are you talking about in real life or in the game? In the game. I got a Zelda stream after that. You're welcome to be on it if you want. I don't know. Okay. No worries. I'm going to be starting Dungeon 7 because I don't know where Dungeon 6 is. I'll probably remember it, but... I already have the blue... Uh, what do you call it? I meant... Yeah. The magic... Uh, Thing, so I'm I meant wearing to blue armor. take time to relax and stuff this morning, but I ended up getting stuck, like, um, talking to stuff, people and stuff. I was catching up with, you know, an old friend, but then I ended up not getting what I needed done. That's cool. I didn't get my eggs made, so I didn't have coffee made. Just completely threw my entire day off. Mm. And then everyone was like, oh my gosh, you seem sluggish, like, when I was on the stream. It's like, because I... If I don't have my eggs and coffee, I don't. It's hard for me to function. But you are potpourri. I need eggs. Like, oh I my god! I even was talking about this. I need protein. Like, if I don't have protein every day, I have some kind of problem. In fact, I think that's a medical condition. I might have an actual rare medical condition or something that no. could be. What? Or I just have potpourri condition. Condition of potpourri. Maybe she. Maybe the reason she needs eggs every day is she has a severe medical condition. Maybe you should check her out at the doctor. Most of the girls in that game like eggs, though. So. Oh wait, I thought it was you for a minute. No. Darn it! I was like, tr I was, I was. <sighs> why did I think it was you? Ah. Oh my gosh, that's why I didn't come get you because I was like, that's fine. Why are you not coming getting He's me? He's almost dead. Oh jeez, dude, seriously. I honestly don't just need eggs, though. I usually need, like, a little bit of meat. Honestly. Like, I usually have to put a tiny bit of bacon in my eggs. It's like, I don't know what it is, but, like, if I became a vegetarian, I would die. Like, it's not like, oh, like, even if someone convinced me that I needed to be nice to animals, I'd be like, that's great, but I will die without meat. You, so, are, you are nice to animals. I know, I am, but I'm just you saying, have, like, I would... Sweetheart to animals. I would literally die if I became a vegetarian. There's no way I could do it. I have to have it. I'm just saying. Okay, so now it's a Mega Man reference. He's literally Dr. Wily. Like, he was... Look at that, because he was behind that machine. Oh, yeah. And then he comes down and he begs for forgiveness, and then he kills him. So, whoever wants... Maybe you should forgive him. Whoever wants to kill him. What happens do if we don't... I'm, I'm not gonna kill him. I killed really? him last time. Yeah, I killed him last time. <laughs> you can have that on your conscience, because. It's fine. Uh, Sometimes yeah, we yeah, must yeah. do unpleasant things. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, I'm referring to the character from Frasier that basically. Alright, I'll explain. So, some. More Frasier? Some reason, like. A caller calls into Fraser's show, and she's dating this guy who's basically must be in the mob. Mm -hmm. And he gives her advice not to, like, be with this guy. So then he gets angry at Fraser and comes back, and he basically is forcing Fraser to tell this lady to date, you know, okay. him. Even though he knows she he's in the mob. And, like, this lady is calling in, and she's just like, Oh my gosh, like, he seems really fishy. Like, something seems wrong with him. I don't know why. Like, he told me, like, he'll just take care of me and he has all this money and, you know, not to worry about anything. And I don't need to know the details of his job. Nope. Oh. Yep, there it is. That's the other ending. Despite the struggles that had brought them together, Scott and Ramona then, they had something special. Together they had it into the future. Ready for anything! Yay! Congratulations! Game's Congratulations. over! Congratulations! You're another relationship in a long string of them that will never end. Hmm. Alright, guys, that is it. Thank you again, yeah, Ubisoft! Thanks so much, Ubisoft, for um, providing a copy for us to give away in the stream. Congratulations. Um, thank you guys so much for entering the contest. Congratulations to 
J. Arzu for winning a copy of this game. Thank you so much for entering the contest. And thank you guys so much for watching today's stream on Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. Yeah. Did we have a different ending for Ramona beating him? That was Ramona's ending. Last time Scott was surrounded by Kim and Knives and some girl with a ponytail. Oh, so you're saying because Ramona beat him then... They had a happy ending, yep. Wow. Yeah, but each character has a different ending, though, so it's, you know, just how it is. That's terrible. So, guys, how was the stream quality? Now Luke has to the nearest pond and start tossing eggs into it so he can get a second kitty. Um, guys, we're going to get a, another cat hopefully this year, but we might wait until we go to Illinois. We don't know yet. Like, uh, the place that I've been talking to about kittens, they're not really... They're even though there's no scientific record of it, they're worried that the cats can catch the Rona, so they're not opening their adoption agency for the Russian Blues in this part of Pennsylvania. And it, they're not giving away cats right now, so they're basically the kittens are all growing up, and then like when things settle down or whatever, they'll start selling cats again. But probably just going to wait until we go to Illinois because it's, I wanted to get Amber a kitten on her birthday, I wanted it at Christmas and they're just making it really difficult and because of my allergies I have to get a hypoallergenic cat um, and those are Russian blues and the Russian blues are very uh, difficult to get right now because like breeders and other people are just super uh, afraid of things I guess you could say so we can't really give a kitty a good home right now, but I I would love to, to get another cat because the kittens. But I don't understand if they gave us the the cat and then we had if we were sick, then why would it matter at that point? Like I don't know. It, it doesn't make any sense like to me. But I don't I don't want to deal with that one cat agency that literally ships the animal to you. I think that's cruelty to animals if they were yeah, to put an animal in a box with some holes and then send it to somebody's house. Yeah, they're trying to be they're trying to be like pandemic safe. But what about the animal inside shipping, the box? They're shipping animals in boxes. Yeah. Yeah. Like what? Yep. Yeah. So I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna wait. Zelda's kind of a handful for both of us right now because she's not acting the way Zelda normally acts. She's lonely. Yeah. But anyway, guys, uh, next live stream is starting up at 11ish, uh, maybe a little sooner. I need to go have some more cereal. Um, and I just really appreciate that you guys were here seeing us replay this game again. We just finished our series on this about I don't know four or five days ago. So it was cool that you guys came in. Um, we have a new Let's Play starting up on Tuesday, and Amber has an ultimate stream select on uh, Superman 64. So um, wait, when when is that? 26th. What is what is today's date? Today is the 24th. So Monday, Tuesday, Tuesday so is, is Superman. What is Yu-Gi-Oh stream? Yu-Gi-Oh stream is on Wednesday. No. Yu -Gi -Oh, uh, Among Us would be on Wednesday. Yu-Gi-Oh would be Thursday, the twenty-eighth. Yeah. Okay, so twenty-six and twenty-eighth are my streams. Yep. Okay, thanks, Lee, Leroy, and Yu-Gi-Oh, and thanks everybody. All right. So I finished my Reese's Puffs. That means I'm gonna have a different type of cereal now. Maybe I'll have okay. some yogurts too. All right, guys. That's it. That's all. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks again, Ubisoft. God bless everybody, and uh, I'll see you guys in uh, what time is it? Uh, about uh, fifteen twenty minutes. All right, guys. Mute in mm. the microphone. See y'all. Have a great night, everyone. Thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs>